Hey guys and welcome back guys um, to a new part of a Foot Manager series. This is part 24 I believe. So where we left off we did have a disappointing 1-0 uh, defeat to Valencia at home in front of our own fans. But then we did make up for it with a good solid uh, home win against uh, Juventus. And now uh, we're gonna, I'm going to try fit in maybe three videos. We could get an El Clasico because we do versus Real Madrid in about three games time away in the Spanish division but until then we've got Espanyol and Vigo uh, Espanyol which is the nearest uh, match coming up uh, which is tomorrow and that is at home and um, yeah so let hopefully we do good I'm looking to bring Morata back into the starting lineup I did put him on the bench for last game uh, just to give uh, not really because he played bad in the, re in the other match but mo mostly just to give Suarez his first game and propel him for the season but anyway guys um messi let's see what other changes can we make iniesta's looking a bit a bit down uh rakitic has he played this season no he hasn't so let's put rakitic on for, uh busquets on the bench suarez two goals in two games and Bele, two goal two matches sorry and zero goals it's looking good, guys. It's looking good. Anyway, let's head straight into it. Oh, this is Brandt. Oh, Brandt of another goal. This guy is a beast. Remember last season, he was a bit selfish and he had a lot to improve, but it looks like he's been improving, definitely. His PK have a good chance to get two goals. Oh, Morata, nearly a goal for him. Espanyol have a chance to get back in the game. Good save from uh, Testegen. 19 minutes played and Morata gets his fourth goal of the season absolutely brilliant hopefully it wasn't offside or anything that no, wasn't and 2-0 up already Morata again <sighs> nearly with the second goal 30 minutes played ah Espanyol get a goal back not too good but this can happen at any time we just need to keep our heads up and uh, stick to the game plan all right guys half time looking a bit edgy the result we could if we concede one more it could easily be a draw but at the same time, if we do score one goal, we could put this match out of balance. Here's Morata. Yes, that's what I was looking for. A little one-two between Jordi Alba, I think. Another Spanish player. And that is a brilliant header from Morata. 70th minute. We're going to make a change right now. Let's give some of our young players uh, a chance. So let's give Suarez a chance. Uh, let's put Rakitic in for Roberto. And Semedo is once again going to come in for Bellerin. 10 minutes on the clock left. Oh, Espanyol have a chance to get a second goal in. And it's a good save from Testegen. Oh, it's a good chance from... Is it going to be 3-2? No, it's not. It just goes over the goal. Oh, good free kick ch uh, chance for them. But just goes wide. I think this game is over. 3-1 three -one win, sorry. A good solid win for our team. Let's see where that puts us in the table. That puts us just one point below um, Madrid. And on the same points as second place Sevilla. But they do have one game in hand. So they could overcome and us and uh, reach first, first place. Wait, hold on. I saw something about Leroy Sané. Leroy Sané. You know what? I'm going to scout him because he's such a good player. I've had him before. I signed him before and he's a beast. So if he does, if the situation with him and Man City complicates, I will be looking to dip into the transfer market and possibly uh, bid for him. But at the moment, we've literally exhausted all of our funds with big summer signings. I think Christensen was 100 million. Let's see how much we paid for him. That's right, 100 million for Christensen, but he has been playing well. Look at that form. Brilliant form. And also another Chelsea player which we bought was um, Morata. Also a very good player which has been doing extremely well for us so far. Alright, so now we've got Busquets on the bench. He's going to take up Rakitic's place. Um, you guys may be wondering why I'm not using Rakitic. But it's mostly because I'm keeping an eye on his style of play. And let's see. Um, where is he? He is an advanced playmaker. 
But the position I have in the midfield is a ball playing midfielder and a deep playing midfielder. So Roberto is a ball winning midfielder which fits in right into the place as well as Busquets is also a ball winning midfielder. So I have to keep and be careful who I slot in there because if I slot Rakitic it could go very wrong. Because a ball winning midfielder obviously they have to win the ball in the midfield and stop counter attacks. But if, Swar if um, Rakitic is an advanced playmaker he'll be mostly looking to stay up, far, up front and not really uh, defend. So that could ruin the balance of the team so I need to be wary of that. Anyway guys let's send it to the match. I'm not going to make any changes exactly the same. Another away game. The last away game we did lose 1-0 so hopefully we can make amends we started off well though we started off well half time's approaching not any chances to be honest a bit disappointing but oh what was that no way that was going in second half whistle blow 60th minute already what the hell Morata yes baby I was, I was beginning to worry that we won't score any goals, but Morata just brings us in the game, breaks a deadlock. Here's Morata again. Ooh, let's make a change real quick. Uh, oh, Morata's looking very exhausted. We're going to put Suarez on for him. Dembele's coming in for Messi, and uh, Brandt's looking a bit exhausted as well. So, in fact, let's, let's change our front three, and hopefully it doesn't ruin the style of play. Oh, just two more minutes, guys. We're two minutes away from a win. Can we get the win? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that was just so unlucky. Fuck. All right, guys. Let's move on from that disappointing result. We've got Real Madrid now. A very difficult match coming up. We need to be on a top form. Um, so El Clasico initiating right now. It is on today. A good chance for us to um, get a good result here. So we're going to bring Busquets back into the starting lineup. Um, what else can I do? I'm going to keep it like this. I haven't really got too many options in attack than Billy. Uh, the only position I can... Yeah, he, he is a natural right wing. So I don't want to put him in a position where he's only like comfortable with. I need a player where a position where he's natural. So he can play to his full capacity. And that only place is occupied by Messi, which is obviously the star of the club. So I'm not willing to take him off right now. But Roberto, um, he's having a rest. He's been playing good recently. And let's head into the El Clasico, guys. Away match, not looking too good, guys. We've had two disappointing results in all our away games. So we certainly need to improve on that. Oh, God. Just what we needed. Early goal from Real Madrid. Was that Varane? That was a brilliant goal from a defender. But anyway, let's focus on the game now. We're getting absolutely thrashed. Here's a new signing for Man City. Oh, he just oh, he just chipped the goalkeeper. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, but he was offside. Oh, that's unlucky for him, to be honest. That was a beautiful goal. 26 minutes gone. Literally, we are not getting back into the game, and that is exactly what happens. You get punished. Oh, but another offside goal. What the hell? I was certain that was onside. Anyway, 47 minutes. Not good, guys. Hopefully, we give them something to work with in the second half come on Messi bring us back in the game come on Messi ah fuck Morata my god come on someone let's see how the stamina people are doing on the stamina Messi's looking a bit shaky uh, let's put Suarez on for Messi uh, come on, come on, come on. 72 minutes. I don't want to lose again. That would be pretty bad for this season starting. And that is it, guys. We do lose oh, against Real Madrid. Oh, for God's sake. 
Yeah, so it's not looking too good, guys. We haven't really improved much from last season, except for the fact that we've been scoring more goals, but that's about it. We still, still need to improve greatly. Right now, we are occupying sixth place, which is not the best um, after six games in the season. Yeah, <laughs> not looking too good, guys. Anyways, I'm going to leave this video here, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.